Okay, so we're just gonna get right to this. We're gonna start using my e.l.f. primer. I've been using this for the last couple weeks and it hasn't broken me out and it seems to definitely give a more smoother appearance to the skin. Then I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh. It's great for summer, it's super lightweight. Um, literally feels like water on the skin and it lasts 24 hours, so I can't complain. It also has SPF 30 in it, and I just really like the finish. It's got a like a natural satiny finish, not too matte, but not dewy, and it's buildable coverage. So if there's ever days I need more coverage, I can always add more, which I do right now on my jawline, which is my problem area. So just adding a little extra, and blending it out with my Sigma F80, which is my favorite foundation brush. And then we're gonna go in with the Double Wear Flawless Concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers for under the eyes. I find it to be easy to blend. Again, long wearing, very flattering, doesn't crease too much. So um, yeah, and I'm blending that out with this Flower Beauty sponge. It's super squishy and very affordable at Walmart and Ulta. From there, we're gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm using it in shade light, surprisingly. I could probably get away with medium now, but I like the brightness from the light, and I'm just setting underneath the eye area, and I do use it slightly to bake, but then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Glow Minerals Pressed Base, and I'll just put that everywhere else because I just find that in the summer, even though my skin isn't as oily anymore, I still like to set everywhere just to make sure it lasts longer. We're gonna do some brows. This obviously always takes the longest in a video, but um, I'm always a fan of using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love the color for my brows. I use shade two. And uh, I've been using this for a few, couple years now. I just either go back and forth between the Goof Proof, which is the thicker pencil, or this one, but I find that this one is my favorite out of the two. Just blending that out, and then we'll do the other side. And um, I actually want to try the 3D brow tones from Benefit. That's probably something I'm going to order with a Sephora sale coming up. I use Gimme Brow, and you'll see me do that in a second. Yep, here we go. But um, I want to try the um, 3D brow tones because I think it'll be a little more flattering on my brow hairs. But we'll see. Next, we are going in with the face palette. So here we go, guys. I mixed the two highlight shades and I actually have been applying my highlighter with a beauty blender. I find it to like really mesh into the skin much more naturally. So that's what I've been doing. Sometimes I use a brush still, but mostly I've been doing it this way and it cuts down on uh, tools I'm using. So just highlighting the new usual areas. I mix both of the bronzers for most of my face with the exception of certain areas I want to contour. I went a little overboard on the forehead, so blending it out a little bit. And then going into the rest of the face, still mixing those two bronzy kind of hues. One is matte and one is more of a satin shimmer. So um, along my jawline, you'll see, I'll grab just, yeah, see just the bronzer part, the matte one and go along that back part of my jaw. That's where my pregnancy weight is kind of making me have a moon face. So yeah, I like to contour that out. And then I grab the more plummy, natural colored blush, pop that on the cheeks. And from there, I think I blend it all out. That's my go-to. I like to load up the face makeup, like the face color, and then I'll blend it out just because I find that the face blush and bronzer tends to fade pretty quickly throughout the day. Then I'm taking the highlight shades again, mixing both of them and popping them on my eyelid, but I realized I didn't really like the, the brush. It wasn't packing enough punch, so I just went in with my finger. Finger will usually be your best friend for shimmer shades on your eyes. Then I use the shimmery bronzer color through the crease of the eyes to give the dimension that you'll see and the more peachy bronze hue through the eye look. I'm just blending that out, doing the same on the other side with a fluffy crease brush of your choosing. I think I'm using a MAC one here, but you don't have to. I take the matte bronzer and just pop it right on that outer corner just to give a little more depth. You don't have to do that step. And then I take that pink. This is the important thing. You really need to use that bright pink on the outside of the crease, kind of above where you put the transition shade to give it that really pretty pink warmth. Just lining the upper lash line with a liquid liner. You can use pencil, you can use gel, whatever you like. This is just the pixie one. I find it really black and matte and I love it. 
and I'm not putting anything on my lower lash line. This is like a new thing I do and I'm finding it really opens up and makes my eyes look more awake, especially during the day. Um, for everyday looks, it just looks really flattering and wide eyed and awake and youthful. So I'm just loading up some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara sample I got recently. I like this mascara. I like the wand. I think a lot of people do also like it. It's not my favorite though, so I'm just using it up. Lining my lips with the Lancome pencil. This was something I bought from a recommendation based off of Alexandra Garza. If you don't watch her channel, you should. But she is great at recommending lip colors that match my skin tone as well. So I just like to blend it out with the brush. I think that's important when you're doing a lip liner of like that color. It's kind of like a brown. And this is a ColourPop lipstick. It's super pretty. It's called, I think, What's Your Sign? It's one of the newer ones. And then I top it off with the ColourPop gloss in Moonchild. And it's, I love it. And I have to thank my blogger friend, Jasmine Maria, for that. And that's it, guys. That is the look. Pretty easy, right? <laughs>